Alright guys, about to run out of battery here, but just wanted to show this is what the rims look like. This rim was the roughest by far, and just the surface finish. It was real rusty and pitted. So that of course shows through the paint. Uh, got a little mist paint right there. But uh, from back far away it looks good, and that was what I was going for. It's not a show trailer. Uh, this one here, the, you can see the Rust-Oleum paint actually turned out real well where it was smooth. And then where the rim's rough, it doesn't look as good, but turned out pretty well. These are the original, these are ones on my older other trailer. Uh, same rim, basically, same tire size. These are 235.80s. These are 235.85s. They're a little bit bigger. You can't really notice it on the trailer, but uh, main difference is this are e, these are E-tires. This is an F-tire. I think this is a G. This one is rated at 4,080 pounds. And this one is rated at 3,960. So it's a little underrated compared to this one. And you can tell it too, though. This tire actually feels heavier. So it might have a little bit thicker ply rating too. This one does feel a little bit lighter. They both feel heavier than these, which are E-rated tires. And these are only rated to 3,500 pounds per tire, 3,520, I believe. Uh, let me look here. Yep, yeah, right there. Yep, 3,520 in singles, 3,080 in duels. So even though it looks like the appropriate tire for a... These are 8,000-pound axles. So ideally, you want your tires to be at or above 4,000 pounds a piece for your 8,000 pound total rating. This one's a little under, this one's a little over. Kind of balances itself out, I guess, but. Uh... Main reason I'm not real worried about it is this trailer almost never hauls anything. The real use of this trailer would be to haul long beams. We've used it to haul longer stuff because it is 25 foot of deck and then with the axles being further back, you can overhang the back of the deck and not get the weight of the trailer all screwed up. And not, and it's got a lot of tongue weight anyway, so it never gets real squirrely on the back of the truck. And then it, this'll haul the big skid steer because it's too wide to fit through the fenders on my other trailer, my 12,000 pound trailer. <clears throat> so with that said, we almost never take the skid steer anywhere. The mini goes everywhere, it seems like. And uh, I just really don't have a whole lot of use for this trailer. So I went a little cheap on the tire and uh, got it close enough. So I'll go ahead and get these put on before I run out of battery. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other side. Just about out of battery. Got 3% left. Hopefully I can get through this. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, uh, like, subscribe, and uh, there'll be more to come. Thank you.